Like I, I have always been playing music and I think I started at seven playing the violin and then that didn't sound good so I started playing the piano and, um, and I think I've always had the, the, the creativity to create music in some way but um, I've never been a very good technical musician or um, reading after sheet music. I've, I've, I've been very autodidact, I think, in, in the way I approach music as well. So, so I, I, I've always been like expressing myself through music. Um, then I, after high school, I, I spent a year in London um, and learning like the production skills and stuff. And then I think my my aim was actually to go back to Denmark and maybe studying music. Um, and I, I, I got into musicology at the university, which I actually didn't really was expecting. I was expecting more to study it and practice. I, my final thesis at university, I, I did a performance of Gertrude Stein's poem Counting the Dresses. Mm -hmm. um, and I spent like the last half year um, during my master working with this piece. So it was very... Um, it was very lucky that I actually got to spend the last half year doing a project on my own. And I think that was probably what got me really into, or understanding that if if I wanted to to become like a living, uh, or to live out of my, I don't know, uh, expression, throughout, I, I had to do it on my own. And I think to put up the Gertrude Stein piece. Um, got me into thinking that um, I probably could do it, but it would take me a lot of time and effort. And I think after studying, then I took my master in, in theatre and performance. And after that, like when I finished, I probably didn't expect to to go out and be a like musician, like I am now. But I, I definitely expect like that I want to do something in, with my hands or I didn't want to sit after university I was tired of applying for jobs and not being there wasn't any jobs I thought that was relevant for me and um, so I kind of like had the, the feeling of I had to do it myself and I think that I spent maybe a half a year being kind of um, depressed or <laughs> being confused about life after you, you you study, which I think is very natural. And then, yeah, it was very it came very natural to me to to start making stuff on my own. And I, I like not to put things in boxes, so I of course I make music, but I make a lot of other stuff as well. So. I think we played like 11, 11 shows, including the showcases at CMJ in New York. So yeah, so we did the East Coast, uh, and then we had like 14 days in New York where we did showcases and radio shows, and then we traveled to the, the West. Yeah. The week before we came to New York, we like drove from Chicago and down and played like a concert uh, every second day, I think. It was very hard because, like, we didn't have a lot of money, so we rented a small car and, and like, out on the big roads all by ourselves. So, my year in London, I, I played small gigs and I wrote my own music and I got together with different people, um, different musicians, and I started playing. Um, out on different small scenes and venues. Um, it was always something I did like on the side. Mm -hmm. um, I worked a lot with um, with my brother, who who has like a studio, so all my music is mastered there. Uh, the the visual part of my music is very important to me. So it's always kind of. It always comes from me in some way. Like, I don't want to tell too much, but I want to open up a space that I think 
I knew it came from. In Down the Hill, it was actually I, I was um, I was playing um, music, my music in a performance uh, with um, a choreographer, and um, it was during the storm uh, or the day that the storm was coming over them, right? And it was. Uh, so we didn't we didn't get to perform and we were like locked in, mm -hmm. so and we couldn't get out and so we had this night at the theatre, actually just doing nothing and and it was just we kind of like jammed and I thought it would be nice to make something out of it. I think what I always strive for is actually not being secure and like always being like unstable or out of balance for it. So, and when I found out this was actually my motivation for maybe falling in love or writing music or doing what I'm doing, um, I wrote this and the feeling of being um, attracted to something that wasn't maybe going to succeed. And, and the video is, is very much like an image of a very specific relation I had, um, and I, I think it it kind of sometimes it provokes me, like also in the media and, and stuff. When you see, for example, the, like there's a, a very stereo kind of way to see, for example, two women being together or two men being together. So I like to break that down in a way, or like. Like a friendship can be very emotional, for example, between two women, but it can also be very um, sexual or very, um, yeah, intimate. And I think that was my experience, and, and I think I wanted to tell that story. So the thing about also just producing yourself and creating yourself and it makes the workspace very free. Uh, when I listen to my album now, like there's so many things I want to do over again. Or if I should have done it today, like half a year later, I would have done it totally different. And I would like to the next ten albums I would like to <laughs> go back every time and think that because that makes uh, that means that I'm developing. But yeah, in the beginning of February, um, three, four songs will be out, um, including the Magic Power single, which is out. Yeah, right now, well, I think we are really working on trying to think about what can happen in Europe. So I would like to, I would like to say hello to Lincoln in the journey south of Europe um, but I, I would really like to just come out and play, play a lot of concerts. I think that really makes me more certain of what direction I want. So hopefully a lot of concerts during the spring summer time and then I want to write a new album and hopefully to be released in the fall. Yeah, hopefully the next album will be on vinyl as well. And crossing my fingers. <laughs>